all right? I will tell you in short because tomorrow I am going to tell you in details about the centers and uh, their manifestation. But today I would like to tell you about the spirit about which people have told that there is a spirit within us. Now spirit is the reflection of God Almighty within us, which resides in the heart actually. But the seat of the spirit is here on top of your head where the fontanel bone area is. But it resides in the heart. Now this spirit is the collective being. It is the collective being, meaning that you don't have to tell the spirit that we are all one. When you become the spirit, you just start feeling they are the one. Like there's no, nobody is the other. Like some people say, Mother, when you try to help others and cure others and do this and that, uh, then you, do you think you are obliging them? I said, how? There's no other for me. They are all within myself. Who is the other? I don't know. I don't see anybody as the other. If, uh, if they are helped, it is because I feel they are within myself. And that's what happens, that you become collectively conscious. That means in your central nervous system, you start feeling others and yourself. You become, again I say, it's the becoming. It's not talking. It's not mental projection. It's the becoming. The being becomes. And when the being becomes that, he gets this experience of understanding that there is an energy flowing through us and this is the energy of the spirit that flows through you. So you get sanctified, you get the energy within you, you become the energy. Then you start manifesting the energy of your spirit. And when you start manifesting that energy, then you do it as a collective being. It just flows. You don't have to do anything, it just flows. You don't have to say, oh, oh, come along, you stand on your head or do anything. It just flows. Even if you touch somebody, it can flow, it can cure people. It's not only curing that's important. It's just a byproduct. Actually, when Kundalini rises, she integrates you, all the centers. She gives you physical, mental and emotional peace and their integration. And also, she gives you power to understand what she is like, what she's doing and how to manifest in other people. She gives you power to give realization to others. It is too fantastic to believe. I know it is too fantastic. But is it not fantastic that we have become human beings from amoeba? We take that for granted. If the time has come to become that, let's have it. What's the harm, even if it is fantastic? After all, you have reached the moon, isn't it? So you can reach the spirit also and should happen. Ah, mass. It has to happen to all of you. All right.